Hey guys, this is Mr. Ninja Boy and 1,000 subscribers. I'm very happy right now um, that I reached 1,000 subscribers. Surely is a big milestone for me. Um, I dreamed of the day that I'll reach 1,000 subscribers and it really happened. So thank you all for subscribing and supporting. Uh, really good support from you guys. And I'm back with another tutorial on Ninja 3D. This, uh, I'm sorry for not uploading this um, for a long time, but finally I'm uploading it. This tutorial, we're going to get through lots of important stuff. Um, lots of requests on this tutorial on how to do aiming and shooting, which we're going to go through. The so um, we're going to start from where we left off, uh, from tutorial 3. And I have, uh, yeah, three tutorials before this one um, on my channel, so I recommend you watch them, then come to this one, because um, you have to have everything set up properly from the tutorials before. And we're going to, yeah, start from where we left off. So from last tutorial, we left off um, kind of where we made uh, uh, animations and everything for the guns, for walking. But right now, I'm too lazy to remake the animation, so I'm just going to not have animations and the minimap. So if you followed all my tutorials, right now you would have like walking animations and uh, a minimap. So I'm not going to have that in here. So you can watch, I believe, tutorial 3 where, or 2 where I explained that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to add uh, aiming scripts. So first of all, you'd have to download... Um, I believe two scripts. Everything is in the link in the description below. Um, yeah, two scripts, which is the aim down sights and the shoot script. So uh, first of all, um, download the aim down sights, which we're gonna work right now um, onto the gun. So uh, first of all, um, have the uh, yeah. I have also two uh, first person shooter kits available on my channel, free to download, and it has like free gun models and everything. So be sure to download that and then come back here. So um, make sure you have your hand model um, parented to your uh, gun. As you can see here, I did that. So they're parented to each other and then um, they're parented to the main camera. So once you got that, wait, let me just reposition this for a second. So yeah, once you got that, make sure you have gun movement. This is very important. So now we're gonna go next up and actually add a JavaScript where it will allow you to aim down your sight. Now I did this purposely because once you add in the aim down sight script, it will actually move your gun in a certain position. So actually we're going to go back to the default position and put it down a little. Let's see the main camera. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so uh, we're going to actually open up the aim down sight um, script. So as you can see here, uh, the, this variable next pause, this is very important um, to learn. The variable next pause, uh, basically what next pause is, is telling us what the default position is in the X axis. So uh, we're going to actually click on the CSS arms. So this is um, the default position in the X axis. So if you want to set a default position for uh, in the script, you're just going to simply copy this, um, the position of your gun in the hand. So just copy it and go to your the script and paste it right there. But I already went ahead and done that, but actually I'm going to follow a different way. There's two ways of doing it, actually setting a default position or um, the script comes with something like a default position. So uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and do that. And variable next pause 2 is the Y axis, so you can just copy that and paste it there. That's basically what the default position is. So you would also have to do it in these line 21, line 22. So, but we're gonna, I'm actually going to show you guys an easier way instead of doing all that. All you can do is, well first of all, we're going to actually go in play mode right now and we'll see what happens. But we're going to drag in the uh, aim down sight and we're going to actually drag in the CSS arms where it says gun. So yeah, we're going to go into play mode. And as you can see, it sets it into a de different default position. So how we're going to fix this is we're just manually going to move um, the gun. So let's say we move it here and move it up a little. Let's see what happens now. So as you can see, there's a different default position, but when we click, right click, it doesn't actually aim down the sight because it's a little too much to the right. So I'm gonna experiment and find the perfect position. You guys can too. But basically what the perfect position is, when you actually find a position, press the play mode, and it goes into a good default position. And when you right click, it actually aims down the sight and it's all lined up properly. So I'm just going to find that and pause the video for now. I found a good uh, position to position the gun and we're going to go into play mode and as you can see it starts in a default position. We right click and it aims down the sight and it's pretty lined up. 
So, uh, yeah, you should have something like this now where you can actually aim down the site with this JavaScript. So the next step is to add um, a script where we hide the cursor because uh, one of the main features in a first-person shooter um, is uh, that once you play, the, your cursor will hide because w with a cursor while playing a game is kind of weird, um, especially with a first-person shooter. Uh, your cursor will get like everywhere. So um, it's available in the description below. It's a free script. It's called uh, Cursor Hide. So yeah, download that, and I'm gonna show you how to use it now. So yeah, here's the hide cursor script. So download that in the description, and once you got that, just drag it into pretty much any game object. But just I'll just go with the main camera. So drag it into the main camera. And uh, we'll just open up the script. I'll show you what it is. It's really simple. So function start um, screen dot show cursor false. So it's very simple. It's four lines, but it works. That's that's what we need. So um, let's go play mode. As I, as you can see, once I click the screen, the cursor is gone. So that's a really important thing in uh, in in your game. Uh, you should have a hide cursor option. So yeah. So now we're going to go into the most requested and the most important part of making a first person shooter and that is to make your gun actually shoot. So I didn't actually make the script but I'm going to have the link in the description below for this um, Unity 3D thread um, in, the, in the Unity 3D forum. Um, so it's called the NovaShot um, gun script. So just go to this and then go down and then download this and the NovaShot COD style weapon Unity package. So once you download that um, in Unity, it'll say uh, you want to import this pattern, just press import. So you have all this stuff, and you get all these um, random folders. And um, as you can see, one of the folders will say weapons. So we're going to open that up and go to scripts. So it will come with all these scripts, and we're just going to use the gun script for now. So uh, we're, we're going to drag in the gun script to whatever, whatever gun you have in your game. So we're going to drag it into our gun right there. And as you can see to the right, there's all these variables. And I really like the script because you can really customize how your gun want, how you want your gun. So I'm not going to get into this a lot because it's very straightforward. Um, you can choose the type of gun you want, like shotgun, machine gun, burst, or launcher. Um, type of launcher, but whatever, that doesn't even matter. But um, bullet, you have to make a game object, um, make it pretty small, and make uh, and then drag it in. Um, as the game object and you can also click the little circle to select one of the game objects like if you want the rock that as to be the rocket actually we're gonna go to rocket and select the game object as rocket so um, muzzle flash you'd have to have a render and a light flash render and um, this this we can re really it's really straightforward and you can do it yourself but um, it also comes with a prefab so we're actually going to open the prefab folder and it comes with a gun prefab and it's, everything's uh, ready made so you can just go directly to this prefab and if you want to make your own gun um, just like this prefab just go here and literally copy everything here um, and do just the same thing to your gun and you literally have a gun um, that can actually shoot and everything so we're going to actually delete um, we're going to actually delete the G36C gun and we're going to drag in the uh, the gun prefab into our game. So as you can see, um, already has like everything set up. So I'm just going to position this and get everything in. So basically, all I did is delete the previous gun that we're using, the G36C that we we're working on, and uh, replace it with a gun prefab. And I parented to the CSS arms, and I kept the uh, gun movement script and the aim down sights. Make sure you have all that stuff. And I'm going to go to gun prefab, and um, I'm actually going to take a picture of this, this part, the gun script. So uh, if you want to make your own gun, um, aside from this prefab, your own model, um, just follow everything here, uh, fill in exact variables. So for example, machine gun, raycast, etc. Just like fill in every single of these variables um, as the same exact thing right here. So um, now we're going to actually test the game, and I'll show you how this script uh, actually works. So we're going to go into play mode, and now we're going to click the button, and uh, yeah, as you can see there, um, it shoots, and uh, you you uh, won't actually hear a sound because that will be a separate script. So that will be included in the next tutorial, which I will teach you how to add 
a weapon sound when you click and shoot. So as you can see here, you can see the shells flying, and we aim down the sight, and uh, yeah, gun movement, etc. So yeah, here's our game so far. This is how your game should look uh, if you follow all my tutorials. And uh, tutorial 5 is going to come out soon, and thank you all for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you can keep, catch up with all my tutorials and gaming, etc. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time. Give them hell, don't give them